here we are guys we are here at the what do you call that <laughs> prairie prairie dosak dam with right. the success of the niagara yeah. falls harnessing its hydropower magnus swenson in 1905 he is a norwegian immigrant an engineer a financer and an inventor decided to harness the power of the Wisconsin River and formed the company called Southern Wisconsin Power Corporation to attorney as a partner. After studying the river, his company built the Kelborn Dam, which is now a Wisconsin Dells, and it was operational in 1909. However, high construction expenses with its low power demand the the, the dam was not really uh, profitable, so Swamson Company decided to build another dam, which is now this dam here. It is near the village of Prairie du Sac, so which is the name it was given. It was completed in 1940. It took four years for it to be built, and it took them a one million dollar expenses so it is the largest hydro electric power plant despite of having used somewhat primitive method of construction into this time with the modern technology that we have building this dam is gonna be so much you know different than in 1900s when the both dam was operational the demand for power was still minimal, so Swimson was forced to sell the dam in 1916 to a Milwaukee Electric Railway and Light Corporation. And the new owner developed a market, and hence the facility started um, begin some profit. So the dam also attract tourism, as you can see. There's a lot of fisher, uh, fishing persons here. They also get to go here and um, watch the eagles, the bald eagles, um, for those people who love the nature. So on September 12, the dam celebrated its 100 years of generation, which is amazing. That is all. So here are their life vests here. So kids don't float, so they got a um, free life jacket that kids can wear but of course they have to return them for other people and they got here the feeding area for the eagles i think they put the food in here and they just stay here in the vehicle and they got the asian carp watch asian carp is an invasive um, fish which is in the mississippi river so it's like they're really populated, they're eating all the other fish, the local fish that they have. So they have to, what do you call that, kill them or, you know, take them away from the river whenever they caught one. Okay, blue, blue, I'm done. So that's the dam there. I'm gonna sneeze. Invasive species. Oh, I was here before, right? When we were looking. So that's the area there for their management or something, how they run the dam. No, the facts about staying safe are the top. Public input encouraged. So they get their fences here for the people. Go oh, that's where they, we walk out. We walk down here. See those, um, what are those clouds? 
because that Halaka. Yeah, I remember walking down here last time. That was winter time. But then water is not so high as this one. And they got their electric boat down there. How'd that guy get out there? Must have got dropped off on the boat. Yeah. Go down there. I'm not filming my ass anymore. <laughs> Asian carp watch. Those Asians, they bring those carp here because they like to eat them. And then they let them into the waters, and now we got Asian carp all over the place. They're breeding faster than you can eat them, April. <laughs> My glasses is falling down because I don't have that big of a nose. <laughs> My nose is not that tall. Invasive species. Inspect remote drain, never move. Pie trees? down here the water is way way higher than the last time we were here have to be careful not to fall god this is crazy go up here we still have plants here like that well not much of them probably won't survive in the water I'm pretty sure water goes do you think water goes down up there? I don't know, maybe. Get there, there are signs. Absolutely no trespassing. Dangerous undertow. Rapid changes in wa water level. Oh, those. Those are the um, indicator of um, water changes level. So these are the brown thing. There's a big fish right there. I didn't see it. See him? Right there. There's a big fish right there in the water. See it? No. It's right in front. 
Right where I'm point pointing. Did uh, you see it? No. Right there. My eyes is not that. Oh yeah, 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 that one. Well, it's really, it's barely visible. It's a carp. You can barely see it because of the water. The water is kind of brown. It's not blue or green at all. And those are the, what do you call that again? Pelicans. Why do you think they're up there? I don't know, they're feeding. There are probably more fish down there. And they got their groups up here. Warning, light and horn indicate change in water level. I don't know which is the light. Where is the light pod? Light and horn indicates a uh, change in water level. That's an undertow right there. Where it curves? Yeah. Beautiful. Going back. The guy in there. It looks it sucked under and you'd be fucked. It looks cool though. It's like very flat down here and then you got a straight line there. And we still have water bottle here. Blah blah, no no no. Okay, a lot of people stack rocks around here. You said the water they're releasing from the dam, that's, that's shooting out probably 50, 60 feet in the air. That's a, lot, that's a lot of water. Water's high right now, so they're releasing it down the river. Otherwise it'd flood right over the top. You have to be careful walking here. These rocks are not flat. They're not really here for the people to walk on. But people can still do. There are ways. That's how they do it. They go by the center. Maybe not. Oh, look at that car. <laughs> That's really bright yellow. Kind okay. of. Yeah. Looks cool. Is it the sports car? It's a Mustang.
two fell over, blocking the path. Watch out. We are right now in the beach area. And there's a lot of branches of trees. I mean, I don't know if people swim in here. Does people swim in here, Claude? Yeah. The trees here. It reminds me of the um, sea with the waves. It's really wavy. Did you go fishing here before? Yeah. dam right there how come we never go swimming here it's not that good We are trying to find a sp spot to fly the drone right now. I don't know though if it's allowed to fly it here. I know um, it's not allowed to fly the drone near the airport, but Claude said it's not near the airport here. Look how far back The microphone is here. They can't hear you. I said, look at how far the sand goes back. <laughs> <You're real. laughs> See this, Claude? Are those crabs or something? Ants. Ants? Those are big ants. Those are ant, ant. Yeah, those are ants. See. We're really going to the wild area here. Oh, or no? It's all sand. It's pretty wild. It's windy. Find a spot back here. Along, right here, the water's in the tree line. But maybe there's a beach that comes around that nobody's back here. Doesn't look like anybody's been walking back here. They won't, won't complain about the drone. Oh, look at, see? Water's right there. Trees are looks growing. Like, looks like mangoes. The Philippines. Mangrove. Mangrove. The mangroves. Yeah. But it's not mangrove, right? Mangrove is only in the Philippines. Well, they got them in the tropical area. It's kind of cool though. Here, isn't it? Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> My hair just got caught on the branch. Wow, it really reminds me of the ocean with the wave. It's really wavy, wavy here. Oh, oh, I almost. Okay, Can I get the waves yeah, where are perspective? in the woods area here. It's nice back here. It's Johnny would come back here and it's way back here. It's really fun here. How do you do you know if there's a beach down there? Well there's plenty of clearing out here. It's quite fun. We're trying to find another beach that we can land the drone <coughs> right now 
and there's just a lot of bags, branches, bags. Hmm. Are those mosquitoes? No. Ah. The branches is in my hair and my dress and I can feel the bugs I can I don't run through them hmm. well fuck I don't know <laughs> I don't know April <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna find a spot guess there's not there's not another beach down here probably find some uh if you look you probably find some arrowheads what is that arrowheads the Indians? Arrowheads? Arrowheads. Arrowheads. Yeah. Well, here's a clearing right here. And we found a clearing area. Okay, let's remember this spot. We'll walk down here a little bit farther. Okay. See if we can find a beach area. If not, we'll come back there. This doesn't, yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to float. It's going to come out to a beach at all. Oh, it's soft in here. The sand is soft. It's pretty cool looking though back I here. I think the it? water gets through here. Yeah, Just really gets lovely. through here. It's soft. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna. Yeah, it's all woods down there now. It looks like it's all woods. Yeah, people could come here. Well, I could try flying it over that other spot. What is this? A lot of trees here. Might be rough. Hmm. I don't know if I should. It'd be, it'd be easy to take off, but it'd be really hard to land it in all these trees. Let's go back to that other spot. That's wide open. Claude is going to fly the drone right now. We're like in a public is right there and we're like um, we walk farther so no people is around and this area that we find is like open area. There's a lot of trees surrounding it but we have a big area open here and it's kind of windy as always when you're near water it's windy. It's a beautiful sunny day. We got some trees cut up here. And the sand here is very, very powdery. It's like my, my feet um, goes down. There are spots like that. See that? It goes down when you step on it. And you can see a lot of eagle down here, up here. I mean. And there are trees here. There are a lot of trees by the water there, and I think the some of them died. I don't know if they are really, you know, can live by the water. Like the mangrove, we got mangrove in the Philippines. I don't think that is a mangrove down there. So I'm not really sure. Me and Claude are just sitting down here, guys. It's so peaceful. And it's and it's really blue. The sky is really blue. And as you notice, um, on the dam there, the center part there is like it's really giving um, 
taking out a lot of water just in the center part on the other side they're just giving a little bit of water last time we were here the you can see them you see the things are open in yeah the center you yeah. see they're closed all the way across on both sides but the center are open there's like one two three four there's five of them that are open yeah but those in the center it's really really lots yeah, of well, it's water. a lot of water coming through that that water that's spilling right there is probably i'd say a good 20 feet high at least maybe 30 feet high i know it's hard to tell from here we're quite a ways away from it but that's got to be probably 30 maybe even 40 feet Last probably more than that today is springtime is it still springtime plot yeah, it's not summer yet. Last time we... This is, this is from all the snow that melted. Yeah, last time we were here, that water is way down there. And there are rocks here that we walked through, right? Yeah. So there are rocks down there. We were walking down there before. And then there were people kayaking. I mean, in their kayaks, fishing. But now I think it's not safe to do that because the current is really, really... Well, is the current always like that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's stronger right now. This is a river, but it's, as you can see, it's really wide. It's so wide river. And there are eagles flying there. That's the dam there. It's like a red building. The dam is really modern to think that it was built like a primitive, you know, it was built like a primitive method when they were building it. And the waves are... Because of the wind, the waves is really, really... Well, it's not that big of a wave, but it reminds, it reminded me of an ocean. Because we live near the ocean in the Philippines, so it's kind of bigger than that. But yeah, lakes here, well, they got waves, but not that as big as this one, I guess. It's really windy today, that is why. What do you think that people is doing there? What? They're in kayak, fishing. They're in a boat. It's a fast boat. And then they just tie the rope to the... I don't know what, how they did it. But you can find a spot right by the dam there that's calm water. It's kind of... I, I was like wondering how did they get there? By doing that? Yeah, it's probably an electric uh, powered boat. Because if they're doing kayaks, it's going to be so hard to go there. Lots of people fishing. That other guy there is in the water. And to think that the water is very cold. It's still very cold. Unless it's wearing some sort of protection. If this is the Philippines, I would see there would be a lot of trash down here. But I still see a little bit of trash. Like that blue thing there, both blue plastic. And that can. We got two cans here. Which is not much. In the Philippines, it's just so different when it comes to trash. People just throw trash back and forth. I mean, everywhere. When I was walking down there, I saw this guy. He caught a big fish. That was very big. I don't know what was it. Did you recognize? It was so far. Oh, that bird. Alright guys, see you in our next video.